In this video, I'm going to walk you through one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 22. We're going to be teaching you the stick passing concept in this video. And I'm really excited today because one of the things that I wanted to talk about is the meta, which is a press man-to-man -man style of defense. It's very popular right now in the Madden community. A lot of people are running press man-to-man, -man, shade underneath, trying to really kind of take away some of the crossing routes, some of the out routes, stuff like that. What we're going to teach you in this video is going to equip you to be able to, by the end of the video, not only have an automatic one play touchdown, if they are shading their coverage underneath or playing a lot of press man, we're going to give you a really nice little secret unbumpable route. And then we're also going to be talking about how we can really use this as a quick game concept to be able to beat the blitz, to be able to beat man to man pressure, zone pressure, doesn't matter what they do. This concept is very effective for pretty much any defense in the game. What's good guys, my name is Cody and I just wanted to thank you for watching the video. Now if you're watching this video and you want to check out my full Air Raid Offensive eBook, I'm going to put a link in the description to my Air Raid Offensive eBook. You can get that by joining our Patreon page. It's only $10 to sign up for that. And again, if you want to check that out, that'll be linked down below. Now what we're going to do here is um, I like to put my best wide receiver to the right side of the screen. My number one player, who's my stud receiver, that's who's going to go in that position. Now, I really recommend if you have over 90 deep route running, this concept is really, really effective. And we're actually going to be utilizing the spread Y flex for this. And we're going to use the play Y stick out of spread Y flex in the Arizona playbook. But what I want to talk about is a tip I did last year and it's still very effective this year. I'm gonna show you the difference between the Y stick from the spread Y slot as opposed to the Y stick from the spread Y flex. So the difference between the two, if you take a look here and I just come out and cover one robber and I press my coverage, you're gonna see that Devonte Adams' route is basically, um, you know, just kind of like a hot route of fade. If you look at, I'm gonna put Vada Skelton on fade, you see they look basically the same. Now, this can still get over the top. I'm not saying that it can't, but the success rate is much less. As you can see right there, Alexander's able to break up the ball and he's able to stop this play. But what I wanna show you is when I go to the spread Y flex, if I go to this Y stick out of spread Y flex, you're gonna see that this fade is rounded and a little bit more outside releasing. So what you'll see is it's an unbumpable route and then if you, Devontae Adams is a little slow. We're gonna show you how to make it even better in just a second but you see that he's not getting pressed. That's kind of the first piece of this is he is not getting pressed. Now, what's really cool about this Y stick play is essentially what the Y stick concept really is, is a three man concept um, to the right side. It's a triangle, if you will. I'm gonna show you with this guy. We're gonna have the top of the triangle read is gonna be that fade over the top. We're gonna have the bottom corner of that triangle read is gonna be uh, the stick play, and then we've got the flat defender um, with that uh, with that running back flat. Okay, that's basically how this is going to work. Now on the back side, you can do whatever you want. Um, in this example, we have a levels concept on the back side. I would really recommend not using that, um, just because it's it's really not that great. But I have some other stuff that I'm going to show you on the back side in just a second. But anyways, another cool thing that you can do with the spread is when you motion players, a lot of things can change. So I'm gonna motion Robert Tunyon, the tight end here to the right. And what you're gonna see is it's gonna move my outside receiver more to the outside um, in this set. It's also going to make it so that they cannot press my uh, tight end in this set. So there's some things that we can do with that. And I'm gonna get back to that in just a second, but I want you to watch this route to Adams. What you'll see is now he is going to be a user catch option. As you can see right there, you see how I can basically do a little rocket catch. And essentially what we want to do, and I'm going to show you the shaded underneath stuff in just a second. But what, what essentially what we want to do with this, with this read here um, is, again, you'll notice with this, all we're going to do is we're going to basically throw an outside over the top. Now, if he does actually get jammed, I actually think it can help this over the top. Um, even though Jair just made the play of his career. Um, it can actually help him if he does get kind of jammed a little bit. It can give him a little bit more of a step because essentially what you're going to get is, a, is more of a shaded, not a shaded, but um, it, it's going to play kind of like a shade over top because because the, the press won't work. When they shade underneath is where it's going to really get dangerous for them, which I'll show you in just a second. But I want to show you this user catch option. 
So you see here when I motion him, he is always going to do that. And then I can kind of do a little, uh, you know, kind of rocket catch on that sideline. If like that's an Ed Tutal or Colin Johnson could be an option for you. Now I want to show you, I'm going to shade outside and underneath. This is the way most people shade this year. This is the way the best players in the world are playing man to man is they're going to shade outside and underneath over outside and underneath. When I motion this guy to the right, it moves him. And so because of the movement of this player, he's going to now have a free release almost every single time. And you'll see that that underneath shade is going to mean that I'm going to have a nice little window over the top of the player uh, to be able to hit that route. And the better route running your player has, specifically the better deep route running that your player has on this route, the better this is going to work. Um, and the more consistently it's going to work against that press man-to-man -man, and the more consistently that he's not going to get a jam. If he does get a jam, it's still a really glitchy fade and a lot of times it will still get over the top um, even if he does get a jam. But most of the time he's not as long as you have high route running. And also, like I said, if you motion this, this guy to the right, what I like about motioning, um, what I like about motioning uh, this, this, this guy right here to the right is it kind of simplifies things for you a little bit um, because you're going to be a little bit more consistent just in terms of your ability to get over the top of that jam and then he's also not going to get jammed and when you can't press when you can't press a hitch it makes it really really good it's kind of similar to a zig which i'll show you here um, so because they can't press this this uh, hitch you'll see right here that i can lowball this and he's going to catch it every, almost every single time so you can actually really depend. It makes this route one of the most dependable reads um, in this game. Now, let's say that you're watching this video and you're like, you know what? I don't really like that read um, because you see here how sometimes when you audible, he can come down in a press man. That's again, really in a great example as to why we like to motion this guy inside. Now, the back side of the concept, you could honestly do something like this. I really like this concept right here. Um, another thing you could do is just a simple double uh, double slants. I really like double slants um, or a slant flat. I like slant flat or double slants. I think slant flat is actually probably a little better. Um, if you're going to run that, what you might can you, you can either do a zig and a slant like this, or you could do a flat and a slant like this okay up to you okay so now back to this uh hitch again i'm shading underneath um and you're you're watching this video and let's say you're saying you know i really like the video and everything but i don't want to have to shade underneath or i don't want to have to depend on a, a hitch against that what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to zig uh robert tunyon and you'll see with this zig it's very consistent against man to man the only thing we need to do now is we need to actually use the running back to kind of clear out some space. So the way that we can accomplish that um, with this with this read here is we can go ahead and wheel the running back. So see, now we get a look kind of like this, and now we've got some really interesting um, pieces of the puzzle here. So you see here that zig, and then now you have late in the play that slant coming over the top of the read. Now, another reason why I really like this play is let's say that your opponent is, you know, doing something like this defense right here, and they're trying to take away your running back read. What's really good about stick um, and it, it is, again, they have to have a vert hook. That's the only way they're going to stop the hitch. They have to have a shaded underneath vertical hook to stop that hitch route. So when I go to this play right here, um, you'll see that the flat, or if they're manning up the running back, that stick route is really easy to read. Now, let's say that we're, you know, running a blitzing concept. Okay, let's say we're running a blitzing concept, and we want to go with some man-to-man. -man. If we want to go with man-to-man, -man and we're going to blitz you out of this, if you watch real quickly here, you'll see I can just snap throw the running back. Why? Because he's out-leveraged them to that side. So, you're really getting the defense in kind of an awkward Kind of an awkward position um the best thing that they can really do is kind of some heavy adjustments basically man this guy up on the running back man this guy up on him and man this guy up on the tight end so it's kind of an adjustment heavy type thing and this is where your backside slant flat can be very effective you're going to see right here my backside slant right on the cut just hit that when he gets that inside position 
So that is another little trick of the trade here. And so, you know, again, if they're shading, even if they're shading underneath, this stick route is really good. And I can throw that low ball consistently against man to man. Now I wanna go back to zone for just a second. So let's say that they're gonna say, um, you know, let's say that they're gonna do something like this. So we're gonna go hard flat. The hard flat's gonna stop the running back route. We have a shaded down vert hook and we have this. Okay, these are the adjustments. Again, please see here, they only have three players. So they're running out of room and now they gotta have this guy in the middle of the field. This is where the double slant concept can be very effective because let's say they're doing something like this. They're gonna have to carry that first slant all the way to the sideline. Otherwise I can just hit that when he crosses the field. So this is where that double slant or like a slant and a deep backside dig become very effective um, because what you'll see here is now in a drop eight scenario, you notice that I can hit that. And, and again, you know, I don't know why he drifted back so much but you know you can use a slant you can, whatever but they're gonna have to be in a position where they're gonna drop eight and that's that's really um you know one of the beauties of the air raid so basically my user here and again just to simulate a lot of times when you have two slants they're gonna take the, the second slant they won't take the first slant um and this is where again so now you'll see this this first slant because it's a hard flat see how he's going to be over here again against a drop eight defense now against a man or against a zone blitz another thing that's really cool about this let's say we get a zone pressure and let's say that this guy jets out to try to stop the stick route okay and they're going to go double hard flat for example and we do a backside double slant or we do a backside flat slant i like the double slant but what you'll see here is you've got an access throw right there. Easy, quick read. So they jump to the right, I'm throwing left. Now, let's say, for example, that they give you a, a cover two look. Um, and they're going to send five. Again, I'm going to you know, zone that guy over there to the tight end. So what you can do, if they give you a cover two look and they have hard flats, this is where, again, this fade can become very effective. So you'll see, you'll see right here. Oh, I got my fade or I can just take my quick slant, okay? Again, don't underestimate how effective that slant route really can be. Last thing I wanna show you uh, from a zone perspective is again, a cover two uh, defense. So look something like this. And then again, they're gonna come over here and try to guard the stick route, okay? So let's say you get something like this. Well, you have this rounded fade that is pretty good. Um, you know, so you got your double slants backside if you want to slant in the end or if you wanted to slant flat I'd like the double slants just because the vertical hook won't carry that first slant um, So you can throw that early like right in that little pocket But then you see here I could pass like that to the right and I have a pretty decent chance at hitting that route to uh, Devontae Adams, so there's a lot of benefit to this play and what's also really interesting is you can actually set this up from pretty much anything so you could easily do something like this with a wheel and then on the back side let's say you wanted to do a hitch zig concept this is a really simple read and again you got that triangle concept you know a triangle concept so anyways talked enough about stick there's a lot more to talk about with this concept but this is the beginning stages of it thanks for watching the video if you guys want to check out the air raid offensive ebook the link is in the description to sign up for the patreon by signing up it'll get you access to the full ebook and all the updates to it and any other ebooks that we have over at the membership thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time if you want to get the ebook head down to the description and click the link below